Good morning and a beautiful day to you. I hope you're having another wonderful day. It is beautiful here. Now today, we're gonna to carry on our look around the island, but now we're gonna cross from Nusa Lembongon, go across that bridge I mentioned in the last video, and go and explore Nusa Senegan. So let's get the bike and go. Well, my first spot on Nusa Senegan is Park Cave and Cliff View. Now this is a nice little quiet spot, apart from the music, quiet, there's nobody here, with a cave to see. I'm not sure I'll get to see that today. But it has beautiful views looking out from Nusa Senegan onto Nusa Panida. Let me show you. I've done a nice job here. There's a drinks and a cafe here with some nice decent priced food. And they've made this beautiful viewpoint with lots of different options for you to take selfies. There is a launch bridge there. There's this beautiful seating area with a couple of hammocks. And over here, if I can get you that is a beautiful selfie spot for you and your loved one. <laughs> Let's see if I can get up this ladder. I can do this with the camera up, up. <laughs> There's Nusa Panida. <laughs> you can see why I travel solo, eh? our tour on our visit around Nusa Sanida, the small island in the middle, we have now come to our next stop which is called Blue Lagoon. No idea what it's about, but let's go and show you. Park the bike up here, there's a little sign here. was fantastic I mean it's nowhere for you can't swim or uh, surf down there but there's beautiful views of the cliff point the water is so blue it's unbelievable look at the pictures that was fantastic and, uh, you could actually it's one of those places where you could pack a nice picnic bottle of wine some drinks some snacks go and sit on the cliff and just chill the day away but no time for that we're gonna take you to our next place Okay, carrying on in Nusa Sinigan, next is Secret Beach. Now I have to say, this is the best label Secret Beach I've ever been to. So it's nice and easy to find for a Secret Beach. Now let's go and see what it's like. Well, 
I know that I said it was a well-signed secret beach, but nobody here, so I'm going to call it Simon's private beach. Beautiful. Suits me perfectly, a beach like this. Not very many people. Me. Now this is where I would spend a day. Bring my book, some writing, some filming, fly the drone, and of course, most importantly, snacks and drinks. And this place is for outside guests. If you are going to the beach, please buy something at the bar. I think it says minimum 35k. Or if you want to use the pool and shower, please buy something minimum 100,000 per person. So they'll allow you access and Wi-Fi. As long as you buy something, because they maintain all the access. Sort of fair enough, isn't it? So I've uh, put the prices up, got the prices for you. Had a cold drink, because I just used, I was tempted to use the pool. I never swim again. Well, uh, it's been a great day exploring Nusa Sinigan. That's a quite fantastic, beautiful little island. It is quite small, easy to find your way around. Plenty of places to eat, drink, have a snack, enjoy the views. The people are friendly. The roads are okay mostly. Some are a bit rocky in some places, um, and some stunning views. I haven't found what I would call a beautiful beach yet in terms of if you want to go swimming. Plenty of beaches you can go on and enjoy the view and chill on the beach, but not swimming beaches. I wonder if there is any. Also, I wonder if there's a place to catch the sunset on Sinigan before we cross the Yellow Bridge and go back to Lembongon. Good news! I have found my sunset spot and it's still on Senegan. So we've had the entire day enjoying the beauty of Nusa Senegan. A bit grey this morning but it's cleared out beautifully this afternoon. So I hope you've enjoyed the day and I hope you're going to enjoy my nice sunset spot. There is surf, there is sand, there is a viewpoint over there for me to sit.